So, you want to play the biggest brilla. Good. You've come to the right place. Hello, hello, it's a Squidman. Splatoon 2 introduced us to the Tentabrella, a weapon that tends to shoot tactically large pellets of paint before opening up into an overwhelmingly oversized canopy. If you want to cleanly camp confused cephalopods, learn your shotgun, your shield, and your paint. Lish shotgun. This big boy has the same reach as the range blaster, but deals much less damage. If you are fighting short-ranged opponents, it's best to try to fight them at that range. Don't continuously shoot. Instead, keep them at bay by keeping the area they are trying to approach either solidly shielded or impassively painted. It's best not to bother with one-shot kills, at least to start. At most ranges, you'll splat enemies with two shots. Your shield. The super shield is what sets the tent umbrella apart. Now remember, it takes time for your tent to untwist. So, squids should seek shelter or stay separated via rain. Upon being deployed, the shield becomes accessible to all. Approach with caution lest the enemy team takes you down. Since bombs instantly detonate on both sides of the shield, you must stay wary of where the others are before you use your shield as your death trap. Also, in the event that squids rush you, move to keep the enemy cephalopod on the other side of the shield, your paint. Careful with your ink, the shield uses a lot of it. Yet, the painting power presented by this tent umbrella boasts a territorial shield. Before even engaging enemies, putting paint pressure creates impassable pathways that protect pals. Your paint presents its own purpose in pushing players back. So, whether it's your paint, your shield, or with your shotgun, tell the others with your tent. You shall not pass.